Hi there, it's Mike and uh, I'm going to do a video today on uh, classic doom metal. So basically it'll be like my uh, previous videos. I um, got my board up and um, I listed 10 bands. I consider these to be some of the most essential bands as far as uh, early doom metal is concerned. There's so many other bands that are obviously part of that scene but I just narrowed it down to 10. So I'll show you the board and I'll go through the different bands and um, got some of my CDs here I'll show you as well. Okay, so as far as the um, history of doom metal is concerned, you could basically trace it back to, I would say, the early 80s. However, it does kind of go back further than that. Um, Black Sabbath are oftentimes considered to be like a early doom metal band or a proto doom metal band, and they are a huge influence upon the early doom metal scene. Um, so they're incredibly important. You could also list Pentagram. They released some material throughout the 70s. Um, you could even list Blue Cheer and Budgie as well. And uh, yeah, so basically a lot of the early doom metal bands, um, the, what their idea was, it was to basically maintain that tradition of slowness and groove. They didn't necessarily want to be fast like a lot of the new wave of British heavy metal bands and also the thrash metal bands as well. So yeah, I'll go through the board now. Okay, first band on the list, Pentagram. They've been around since 71. They're a US band. Incredible band. I absolutely love them. Um, took up a long time to actually get uh, going. They did release some material throughout the 70s, but not that much. Actually, I think their first album came out in 85. Um, there's always been a lot of turmoil in that band, a lot of drug abuse and whatnot. Um, I think they're still around. Yeah, they're still going and they've released quite a few different albums. Um, so I'll show you a couple of their first ones. This is uh, Relentless. Um, this is out. This album is just absolutely phenomenal. It's like a ten out of ten as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Um, Be forewarned. That's another one of their earlier albums. So yeah, Pentagram, excellent band. Strongly, definitely recommend them. Sierra and Gold. That's another band I listed here. I don't know too much about them. I've checked out some of their material. They've been around since '72. Um, I should pick up some of their albums, but uh, yeah, I haven't yet. Um, but yeah, a lot of people consider them. You know, essential band as far as the early doom metal scene is concerned. Which Finer General, great band. They, I think they've only released maybe three albums. Um, I'll show you their first album. This is uh, Death Penalty. Um, this album is pretty good. Yeah. So that's Witch Finer General. Trouble. That's another band of the U.S. They released quite a few different albums throughout the years. Um, I'll show you their first album. This is uh, Psalm Nine. This album does contain some elements of like the uh, that British uh, new wave of British heavy metal sound. Um, okay, Saint Vitus. Saint Vitus have been around for quite a long time since '79. Um, they've gone through some different lineup changes. Um, yeah, they have quite a few different albums. Um, I'll show you one of their earliest albums. This is uh, Born Too Late. Uh, this album is just so good. Definitely recommend this one. Um, so yeah, the Obsessed. Okay, I don't too much about the obsessed I should buy some of their albums they've been around for a long time as well um, another US band um, yeah so and then we got Peg and Alter don't know too much about them all as either I think they kind of had that more of a heavy metal slash doom metal kind of thing going on uh, so yeah I, sh I should definitely check them out but they're considered oftentimes to be a very important band as far as early doom metal is concerned okay we got Candle Mass obviously I'm wearing a Candle Mass t-shirt I'm a huge fan of them I have a lot of their albums. Um, they're a Swedish band. They've been around since '84. Um, they're still going strong. They've been through, you know, they've had some different line of changes throughout the years. Um, so yeah, I'll show you some of their earlier albums. This is uh, Epicus Dumicus Metallicus. This is uh, an extremely good album. This is their second album, Nightfall. Also a very good album. And Ancient Dreams is their third album. So yeah, that's Candle Mass. Definitely recommend them. Okay. Cathedral, that's another band. Um, that was formed by Lee Dorian. Um, he actually played with Napalm Death for a while, from what I understand. Um, so yeah, they were around for quite a long time, actually. They released quite a few albums. Um, I'll show you their first album. This is uh, Forest of Equilibrium. Great album. Definitely check it out. Alright, Count Raven, one of my personal favorites. I absolutely love this band. Uh, they're another Swedish band. 
Um, don't know if they're still around. Uh, not even entirely sure. Uh, but I'll show you some of their earlier albums. I think they only I think they only released five albums. But yeah, this is their second album, Destruction of the Void. Fantastic album. All right, and one of my absolute all-time favorite albums, High, Infini High on Infinity. Um, yeah, like this is one of my probably one of my all-time like top ten favorite albums. I just absolutely love this album. It's changed my life. Yeah, so that's basically classic doom metal. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Have a good day.